So Google Gemini was recently released and in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about the new AI and is it actually better than GPT-4? Well, the new chatbot can understand, explain and generate high quality code in Python, Java and C++ and can outperform human experts on over 50 different subjects like math, physics, history, law and more. So hit the like button, subscribe and by the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to know about this potential breakthrough in AI technology. On December 6, 2023, Google released a video which most of you have probably seen by now, hands-on with Gemini, interacting with multimodal AI. Basically, someone is interacting with the AI by placing items in front of the camera and asking the AI questions. It suggests that you can turn on a camera and start asking Gemini about the world around you. Well, this video was actually fake. Well, not fake, but misleading. You see, by the way it was filmed, it would seem that this action was being performed in real time. But if you took a quick look at the description of the video, you could tell that the pictures were shown beforehand and Google Gemini was asked to describe what was happening. Pretty impressive, but wasn't actually a live demo. But at the time, this single video generated unwavering hype and excitement for Google Gemini. Was this finally going to be the chatbot to dethrone ChatGPT? Or was this just a publicity stunt from Google? Advertising Gemini is something much more than it actually is. Google Gemini is a multimodal, large language model, meaning it is trained on text, audio, code, images, and video and can even do multimodal outputs, meaning it can produce text to image, image to text, and even outputs to audio. Essentially, it can generalize and seamlessly understand, operate across, and combine different types of information and observe the world around us similarly to the way humans do. Gemini is available in three models. Gemini Nano, the model size is designed to run on smartphones, specifically the Google Pixel 8. It's built to perform on device tasks that require efficient AI processing without connecting to a external servers, such as suggesting replies within chat applications or summarizing text. Gemini Pro, this is the all-purpose chatbot as of now, running on Google's data centers and is capable of delivering fast response times and understanding complex queries, drawing comparisons to models like GPT 3.5. And then there's Gemini Ultra, which is where it gets interesting. Though still unavailable for widespread use, Google describes Gemini Ultra as its most capable model, exceeding current state-of-the-art results on 30 of the 32 widely used academic benchmarks used in large language model research and development. It's designed for highly complex tasks and is set to be released after finishing its current phase of testing. With a score of 90%, Gemini Ultra is the first model to outperform human experts on massive multitask language understanding, essentially a multiple choice test for AI, which uses a combination of 57 subjects such as math, physics, history, law, medicine, and ethics for testing both world knowledge and problem solving abilities. Pretty much, Google is trying to say that their Gemini Ultra is better than GPT-4 in basically every benchmark that is used to test artificial intelligence. However, there's one problem. Gemini Ultra isn't out yet, and they don't have an exact release date. And the truth is, people aren't going to be all in on this new AI until it's actually released. Benchmarks are just benchmarks at the end of the day. We'll only truly get a strong opinion of Gemini once everyday users get their hands on it. The reality is they've released Gemini Pro, which is comparable to GPT-3.5. In some cases, it's not even as good as GPT 3.5. For example, the pro version of the AI was tested on common benchmarks like MMLU, which is knowledge-based question answering, reasoning, math, code generation, translation, and web instruction following. And while well, GPT 3.5 outperformed Gemini Pro on all of them. You can use Gemini Pro right now on Google Bard. That's if it's available in your country. Looks like I'll still be needing a VPN for this. Google does plan to integrate Bard with the Gemini Ultra in the upcoming year. Still, having Google Pro integrated with Bard is a massive improvement from what it was a few months ago, which is not exactly a high bar. Furthermore, in the ensuing months, Gemini will be incorporating into Google's additional applications such as Search, Google Ads, and the Chrome browser. So the combination of the misleading video and Gemini Ultra not being released yet is making a lot of people question whether or not this AI is the real deal. However, based on what they're saying, it really does sound like Gemini Ultra has the potential to be better than GPT-4. I mean, 
outperforming GPT-4 on 30 of the 32 benchmarks used to train AI is a pretty big deal. Firstly, analyzing text, Gemini Ultra outperforms GPT-4 on pretty much all text benchmarks, including MMLU, reasoning, math, and code. However, I did notice that Gemini did not outperform GPT-4 on Hella Swag, which is common sense reasoning for everyday tasks. Although on the multimodal benchmarks, Gemini outperforms GPT-4 on all of them, image, video, and audio. It's better than GPT-4 at natural image understanding, English video captioning, automatic speech translation, just to name a few. According to Demis Hassabis, the CEO of DeepMind, Gemini's scope will expand even further, encompassing elements like action and touch, resembling more of a robotics-oriented functionality. He anticipates that over time, Gemini will acquire additional senses, heightened awareness, and increased accuracy, ultimately gaining a deeper understanding of the world. Despite the progress, it's acknowledged that these models still exhibit hallucinations, biases, and other issues. Hassabis emphasizes that as they accumulate more knowledge, the models will continue to improve. Sounds like they're gearing up to create sentient AI, which has always been a goal out of reach. The AI is also far more efficient, having been trained on Google's in-house tensor processing units V4 and V5. On TPUs, Gemini runs significantly faster than earlier, smaller, and less capable models. These custom-designed AI accelerators have been used for search, YouTube, Gmail, Google Maps, Google Play, and Android. So Google has been the forefront of AI technology for the past decade. That was until OpenAI released ChatGPT. Since then, they've been trying to catch ChatGPT in the AI race, and it finally seems like they're making their big move. And by the looks of it, this is only the beginning of something massive. But for now, we can only wait until Gemini Ultra is released and truly see how it stacks up against GPT-4.